Chasing destiny is for the young, my child. Anna Christina's grandmother, her yaya, was played by the amazing Patti LuPone. These eyes have seen many things. My character is a grandmother. She's the matriarch of what is left of her family. Her husband is obviously dead. I'm assuming he was killed by the Janissaries, the Sultan's army. Patience is a virtue I gained when I lost several of my family to these invaders. When somebody dies in the family, they're dressed in black, a la the, you know, the black scarf. Like, that's what I look like, I'm dressed in black. The concept of yaya is fundamental in, in Greek culture. The yaya is the cornerstone of families, and uh, she has history to talk about, and she provides unification and warmth and love to the family. She's the storyteller, and she passes down the mythology. Grandmothers in any culture are usually, you know, of the toughest in the family, uh, very respected. Patti LuPone epitomizes the, the embodiment of uh, a real yaya. Yeah, yeah. If I knew a true rebel, I would ask him to give an old Greek woman her turn at these Turks. The Turks pay little heed to old women, and that answers everything. You know, you can be wily, and you can get away with a lot because you're old and they're not gonna look. What's in my future? As a respected elder, Yaya yeah is a keeper of tradition and folk wisdom and maybe a little bit of mysticism. She reads coffee grinds, so she has a sort of an indication of what might occur. And she has to make her peace with that. Will I fall in love and marry a good man? You will fall for a great warrior who fights for Greece. A soldier, then? She wasn't specific as to whether he was Turk or Greek, but she just saw that in the, in the coffee grinds that this was in her granddaughter's future. I only see what the grinds tell me. The rest is up to destiny and to you. And Anna Christina, in her own way, carries on that tradition with her own personal prayers and tributes to those who have died. I remember making it. The first time she'd ever made a tribute cloth with that red cross was in memory of her Aunt Christina. I put all my sorrow and guilt into this. A tribute that she later turns into a fighting curse. She hexes that living Turk. With this sign, I mark thee dead. May he carry you to your final judgment. That's kind of how her legend begins, when the Turks start to be a little bit afraid of Christina as some kind of a witch-type figure that has enormous power, maybe even magic powers. When she appeared from the mist, she moved through the thick of battle like a ghost. She's a sorceress, bewitched. It was interesting as the character to see that moment of Christina taking this to another level and creating a mythology. Superstition will not be our undoing in order to save these farmers from our retribution. In some ways, it seems as if she's channeling some mystic power like her yaya. Christina had the same sort of vibe with her grandma that I have with my grandma, um, in that we can kind of talk very straight with one another. And Tanya is, um, she's terrific. <laughs> she's my beautiful tomboy. We will find our solace in steel with those who fight against the Turks. I, of course, would pray for her survival, but I also know that what is written cannot be unwritten, and she is following her destiny. <laughs>